In a tranquil village, nestled between mist-covered mountains, there lived a wise Zen master renowned throughout the land for his profound wisdom and gentle demeanor. Many sought his counsel, but among all the seekers, one young boy stood out. This boy, named Koji, was barely ten years old, but possessed a curiosity and earnestness that belied his age. He had heard tales of the Zen master's ability to bring clarity to even the most troubled minds and decided to seek his guidance. With determination in his heart, Koji set out on a journey that would forever change his life. Upon reaching the Zen master's humble abode a modest cottage surrounded by blooming cherry blossoms and a serene pond Koji felt a sense of peace wash over him. The master welcomed him with a warm smile and invited him to sit beside him on a smooth stone bench. Master, Koji began tentatively, I seek to understand the meaning of life and find inner peace. Can you teach me? The Zen master regarded the boy with kind eyes that seemed to see beyond the surface of things. Life is a journey of discovery, young one, he replied in a voice like a gentle breeze. To find peace, one must first learn to understand oneself. Koji listened intently as the master spoke of the importance of mindfulness, of being fully present in each moment. He learned about the power of letting go of attachments and embracing impermanence, much like the fleeting beauty of the cherry blossoms that adorned the garden. Days turned into weeks, and Koji continued to visit the Zen master, soaking in his teachings like a parched desert absorbs rain. He learned about the interconnectedness of all beings and the profound wisdom in simplicity. Each lesson was like a seed planted in his young mind, destined to grow and flourish in the fertile soil of his soul. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and painted the sky in hues of crimson and gold, Koji approached the master with a troubled expression. Master, he began hesitantly, I understand the teachings, but I still feel lost at times. How can I find true happiness? The Zen master nodded knowingly. Happiness, my dear Koji, is not found in external possessions or achievements. It resides within you, in the depths of your being. He handed Koji a small clay cup filled with clear water from the garden pond. Tell me, what do you see? Koji peered into the cup and saw his reflection shimmering on the surface of the water. I see myself, he replied softly. The master smiled. Indeed. Just as the water reflects your image, so too does your heart reflect your true essence. To find happiness, you must look within, for there lies the key to unlocking the treasure trove of joy that resides within each of us. With these words, Koji felt a weight lift from his shoulders. He realized that true wisdom was not about accumulating knowledge, but about understanding oneself and embracing the beauty of each moment. From that day forward, Koji approached life with a newfound sense of clarity and purpose. Years passed, and Koji grew into a wise young man, respected throughout the village for his kindness and compassion. People would often seek his counsel, just as he had sought the Zen masters many years before. Yet, he never forgot the lessons he had learned in the Zen garden, the lessons of mindfulness, simplicity, and the profound wisdom of the heart. And so, the legacy of the Zen master lived on through Koji, who continued to inspire others with his gentle wisdom and unwavering belief in the power of inner peace. As he sat beneath the cherry blossoms on warm summer evenings, he would often reflect on his journey and offer silent gratitude to the master who had guided him along the path. In this way, the story of the Zen garden became a timeless tale of transformation and enlightenment, a reminder that true wisdom is not found in the complexities of life, but in the simplicity of the heart. And though the Zen master had long since passed on, his teachings continued to blossom like the cherry blossoms in the garden, touching the hearts of all who sought the true meaning of life and inner peace. Thus concludes the tale of the wise Zen master and the young boy, whose journey together in the Zen garden forever illuminated the path to understanding and happiness. This is God of Motive.
Thanks for watching and stay focused.